What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about an unused T-Rex effect that Stan Winston developed for Jurassic Park 3. This movie is well known for having the gigantic Spinosaurus animatronic made for the film, but one of the things that I think would have looked incredible alongside it, unfortunately never got finished and made. I'm going to go over why I think that is, as well as tell you guys about the special effect itself. So this is a rod puppet that was built to not only show off the T-Rex a little more in Jurassic Park 3, but it was also going to be used to see a fully grown Tyrannosaur move more than just the upper half of its body. Which if you didn't know, that's usually what the Stan Winston Studios Tyrannosaurs were limited to when it came to that kind of special effect. They had built fully operational legs and other stuff to perform alongside the gigantic animatronics, but with so much detail and precision going into those machines, you couldn't really show an animal move its legs and feet so accurately with the expertly done head movements. It was just a gigantic combobulation of different things going off at different times. Now I say you couldn't do that, that is until they developed this thing, which I personally think is not only one of the coolest Jurassic Park effects to have been created for the third movie, but it's also the one that I really wish had been a part of that film. What the team was able to achieve here is basically the fluidity of movement in something that would, up until then, only be visible in something like the Comsignathus effects, or other dinosaurs that were considerably smaller in comparison to one of the biggest creatures in the Jurassic Park series. Obviously, this effect isn't complete in this behind the scenes stuff, which you can find on their awesome YouTube channel, by the way, but I genuinely believe that had this been finalized and filmed, it would have been a great special effect for the movie, and probably more realistic in comparison to only seeing the top halves of the T-Rex and Spinosaurus in the animatronic stages of that fight. Most of which, by the way, ultimately went unused in favor of the CGI scenes for the fight scene. So the reason I think this was wasn't completed for Jurassic Park 3 was because of the nature of Jurassic Park 3's story as a whole. I mean, the movie unfortunately didn't really call for too much T-Rex at the end of the day, so once they killed it off during that infamous battle, you'd probably not need much thought on the animal for anything else in the film. I'm guessing that this was going to be stuff they wanted to use before the fight against the Spinosaurus took place, maybe even before they'd worked out how Alan Grant and the others came across the T-Rex in the film, or even while it was fighting following them to go into the fight. But whatever the case happened to be, I guess the crew behind Jurassic Park 3 just decided it would be easier to use CGI and not commit to this special effect because of the Tyrannosaurus limited screen time in the movie. Still, I think the way this thing moves, and even the way the special effects team filmed the early test footage, shows extreme promise in how the dinosaur would look if it had been completed. Keep in mind, this is like really early stuff they were doing before going ahead and making a final version, so for that to look so good ahead of the finished product, that says a lot about how cool it would have looked in the final movie. Now personally, I think this is the kind of special effect that Jurassic Park needs much more of, and I'd love to see them bring this type of thing back in a future project. If you don't want to necessarily go for a two-story, full-grown Tyrannosaurus Rex, you could just as easily base the movement off of an animal that was still growing, like what Michael Crichton had done for the first Jurassic Park novel. And seeing something like that, you know, maybe a 10-foot-tall creature pursuing people in the jungle, not fully grown Rex, but still a pretty big big animal, bigger than the baby in the Lost World, that would go down for one hell of an awesome scene if done right with this kind of effect in my opinion. I know that Jurassic World Dominion used a lot of practical effects for its story, but in my opinion a lot of those looked really stiff in comparison to what Stan Winston was doing over 20 years ago for Jurassic Park 3, and I think that's saying a lot about how much the industry has changed and how much this brand could benefit from doing something cool like this in the future. Anyways guys, those are all just my thoughts on this unused rod puppet Tyrannosaurus Rex for Jurassic Park 3. Who knows, maybe if they would have tweaked the story a bit, they could have even had something like this coming up at the end of the movie after the Spinosaurus got shot with that flare and you know, you get another T-Rex out at the end to fight the Spinosaurus again or something. I don't know. It's just really cool to see a big giant animal like the Rex move through the jungle so fluidly with practical effects being used instead of CGI, which we get a lot of. But again, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. And guys, by the way, be sure to check out the Stan Winston School's YouTube channel. They offer loads of cool stuff like this for free that you can go check out at any time. And this is the legacy of Jurassic Park. This is something that a lot of us are big fans of. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, let them know that, hey, their work is still loved to this day by not only people like me that are uh, a little bit older and grew up with it, but you guys too. So what Whatever your own thoughts and opinions on this unused effect happen to be, and what your thoughts are on the Tyrannosaurus Rex practical
practical effects in general are, I'd love to hear all about them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives, as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video guys and as always, take it easy.